What's up, YouTubers? This is Southern Aquarius again. Got another do it yourself project. A lot of us use these little mini cylinders for CO2, but I haven't been able to find just the adapter that goes on the top. So, we're going to build one today. What you'll need for this project is a saddle valve kit, which will include or your saddle the saddle valve which has the piece that will puncture the cylinder and it will also come with one of these you'll need a brass coupling to adapt from the cylinder to your valve you'll need a straight valve for a shut off which will also come with two of these and because these are compression fittings on both sides then you'll need a little piece of CO2 hosing to go in between so what you'll want to do is you take all of your pieces apart tear off maybe that much plumbing tape so you want to take your piece of tape and wrap it make sure that when you get done with it you can smooth it to the right on this piece make sure that you back this all the way back you don't want to pre-puncture your cylinder. That would be very bad. Once you've got it backed in there, make sure that your plumbing tape is not blocking the hole. And feed it in there. Make sure that when you use the connections, that you tighten it up with pliers and it goes all the way down take your pair of pliers and hold that coupling really tight and slowly tighten that up just as tight as you can get it when you get done, you're going to want to test it with soap, some soapy water. Make sure it's not leaking. You don't have to use your saddle on the tube. I'm just going to use that to attach it to my canopy frame. Make sure that you have both of those tightened up. Make sure that when you put these in, you'll want to put your cap on here first. And press this into your tubing. All the way. Slide that in there. With these brass fittings, sometimes you'll want to go counterclockwise until you feel it drop down into that thread. Hand tighten it first. And again, take your pliers and hold it really tight. Loosen this one back off. And then 
you're going to line those holding your shut off valve in place and turning just the nut may not be the prettiest but it'll definitely work on your CO tubing off into your tank I know I make short videos but uh, I like to get straight to the point save y'all a little bit of money and take up as little bit of time as possible uh, I hope y'all enjoyed again here's your list and the prices of what I paid for it they had a 90 valve that was 533 and the straight valve was 67 I mentioned to them that you know the straight valve shouldn't cost more just because it's more frequently used and the guy went ahead and marked it down to the 533 so total cost can be anywhere between 15 and a half to 17 and a half still under twenty dollars and Bluebull sells these kits for 30 40 bucks and if you just need the adapter piece there's no reason to pay that cost I hope you all enjoyed leave your comments make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe I got some more videos coming for y'all later